Good day guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy. Today we're going to be doing a few lot updates and telling you a little bit of a story. So stay tuned. So we've had a busy week here at the shop and we've sold several vehicles and we've replaced most of them uh, that, with vehicles that have already hit the lot. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on some of these cars that have said bye bye and some of the new ones that we have come in. So we're going to start with the 2013 Dodge Avenger. I think I mentioned in a previous video that that was going to be gone, that that was going to be sold. And there's the empty hole in which it used to sit. Also, the 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe XL that I said was going to be sold is gone. And we've got a 2015 Ford Escape SE sitting here with only 71,000 kilometers on it. And in this red, it is a beautiful color. I really like the color on these uh, cars. That's pretty close to what uh, the old man has on his 36 Dodge, I believe. And you all know the story on the uh, 2014 2015 Kia Soul. We still haven't heard word on that arbitration yet on those dents. Hopefully by Monday we'll hear something. If not, I'll have to make a phone call, rattle a few cages. So one of the new vehicles we've got on the lot we've never had before. This is a 2016 Mazda CX-3. Now, the difference between a CX-5, 3, 7, and 9 is the size. This is the entry level, so it's basically based on a Mazda 3 platform but it's a hatchback with all wheel drive and it is a sharp looking rig. It's got 99,000 kilometers on it and uh, it's in really good condition, loaded up really nice. So I think this one here is not gonna sit for very long. And the vehicle that used to be sitting there that this is taking its place is the 2010 Dodge Journey, the gold one. That also has been sold this week. And uh, we've also got the 2014 uh, Ford Fiesta that I told you in a previous video was going that did come through and that vehicle as well is gone the vehicle that I'm most impressed about uh, that we bought this week kind of replaces the Santa Fe XL in the fact that it is loaded luxury SUV and which vehicle is it it's this 2014 Kia Sorento SX model now the SX models if you're not familiar with them give you a lot of extras the biggest one being 19 inch wheels, the platinum trim on the bottom, automatic folding mirrors when you lock the doors, a panoramic sunroof, heated and cooled seats, GPS backup camera, basically everything that if you ever wanted something that had all the options on it and you went to Kia back in 2014 and said, I want it all, this is what they gave you. I love it in black and a lot of the times when we get black vehicles, they are super, super scratched up and you can tell, kind of like the Kia Forte, or sorry, the Kia Rondo that we brought in, uh, had several light scratches that you gotta buff out. This one here, someone has really looked after it. In fact, when we bought it, it had four brand new Firestone tires on it and that doesn't happen. When you go to the auctions, almost nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to replace tires on these cars and that's one of the reasons why other dealers will send them to the auctions because they don't want the expense. 19 inch tires, pretty pricey. So someone's already done it and uh, we picked this one up and I think I've already got it sold. Good friends of ours and they're great customers as well. That family has bought several vehicles over the years. Uh, she came in looking for the Santa Fe XL. Unfortunately, I had to tell her it was gone, but that I had this coming in. She's come, she's looked at it, she's fallen in love. So let's hope that by the end of day today or within a couple of days, we'll have that sold and be able to take that money, go find another one. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I put a few posts out there looking for some sponsorship for headlight replacement, not the lens itself, but bulbs in LED. And I've had someone reach out to me. One of those companies has reached out and it looks like we may be able to put something together to get some brighter headlights out of old grandma. So hopefully in the very near future, we'll have a little uh, video to show you about what we're gonna be putting in here. And we're gonna see how that sponsorship deal goes. You never know, it might lead to something a little bit better. There's lots of lights to replace on these cars. And as we pop inside, we do have the motor for Junior's car, like I mentioned before. And here it sits on the pallet, ready for us to swap out 
in Junior's car. If you're just tuning in and you've missed what's going on, well, about a week and a half ago, I get a phone call from Junior telling me that the, something has happened to the motor in his 2013 Hyundai Veloster. Come to find out, we get it back here, get it up on the hoist, and cylinder number four essentially has been deleted. Uh, it came out through the side and uh, we've had a little bit of an issue with that. But we got another motor here and uh, hopefully next week we'll have some time. So that's gonna make a few videos for us on showing you the motor swap as well as tearing down the old motor and finding out just exactly what happened to it. Now at the beginning of this video, I told you I had a story to tell you. And it revolves around a couple of things. One is extended warranty and two is life insurance. Now, if this is the point where you guys don't wanna watch anymore, that's fine. I completely understand. But I feel that these two items are great segues into a couple of stories that have happened over the last couple of weeks. First being warranty. We had a customer who purchased a Hyundai Santa Fe and was getting a rattling noise coming from the rear differential. We take it down to the local transmission shop because we wanted a third party independent to look at this and they took it apart and determined that a couple of teeth had broke off the ring gear. That's covered under the warranty that we sell here at Old Car Auto. It's unfortunate circumstances like that that can cause you to have a very expensive bill. It costs $1,700 to get this repaired. The customer had warranty, $150 de deductible, that's all it cost. So there's a very huge uh, market for warranties and aftermarket warranties, and we sell a couple of different companies. And we just want to stress the importance of don't just shrug it off and push it away when your sales guy starts offering it. Listen to them. Ask questions if you're not sure because they will have the answers and if they don't, they can get it. Now I know there's a lot of companies out there who are kind of shyster companies when it comes to dealing with extended warranties. The two companies that we have have been around for a long time long time one we've been dealing with ever since my dad ran the transmission shop you know way back in the 80s so uh, we know that they're good they've looked after us and even on a few instances where something was questionable whether it should have been covered they stepped up to the plate because our dealership as a as a rule doesn't have very many claims so sometimes when it comes to keeping a long time customer they come through for us the other thing is insurances about two weeks ago, we lost three of our customers. And when I say lost, they've passed away. These customers bought vehicles from us. They had them back here for service. One of the things that one of our customers had done was purchased an insurance. And with that insurance, what happens is that if there is a death due to critical illness, you have the opportunity to sell the car back to the original dealer, which is us. And alleviate that debt from the estate. Now, this one particular customer had that insurance and we've got that vehicle here, which is behind me. And what has to happen is I have to do a condition report on the vehicle, send that into the insurance company with an offer to purchase. So I buy it at whatever my price is and the insurance company makes up the difference up to a certain amount. Now with this particular vehicle, there's a few issues. There's a few little scrapes and bumps. The exhaust is loud, and one of the uh, one of the windows on the passenger side uh, doesn't go up and down. So uh, those are things that we have to account for when we're buying, just like we're buying from anybody else. The moral of this story is, if you have the opportunity and can afford to put some extra insurance on your vehicle, no matter what age you are, whether it's an accidental death, or a death due to critical illness, or even you're sick, and laid up and can't make the payments. There's insurance out there for that. It's literally a few dollars per payment on your loan. You almost don't even see it. Again, entertain the salesperson or the finance guy when they come to you with these because you never know what might happen in the future. We gotta be prepared for the worst. We don't wanna be leaving all that debt to the ones that we love who are left behind. On a more positive note, guys, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is coming up this Thursday. It will be back on my channel, and it starts at 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, 9 local time. So if you are not a member of the Old Car Auto Guy, 
Society, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. That way you'll get notified when those live notifications come up. As you all know, I'm still looking for license plates for the wall art project for the what you saw the update on on Saturday. We're trying to get that wall a little bit bigger and a little bit better laid out. So if you have some spare license plates, please send them to me. My addresses are down in the description box below. Longtime sponsor Sussex Beard Oil is still sponsoring this beard. If you haven't yet, please go check them out. Their link is in the description box as well. And I also want to remind you guys to stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.